never could have ever seen this. No, sir. No, sir. I, I could not have. Um, <laughs> just living in the moment for now. <laughs> is that kind of what this whole team is? It's just like there's so many wonderful things happening around you. We're in the midst of, you know, Jacko says all the time, these are the best of the These are the best Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot of times, say if we're hanging out in the locker room or in the team meeting a little early, um, we're sitting there talking, and uh, it doesn't really feel real for any of us yet. So as long as we keep going one game at a time, it's not like you gotta you really gotta really just stay consistent and uh, not really get too high or get too low, just even keeled throughout the way. So we try not to think too much about it. Absolutely, absolutely. I never thought that it would happen, but uh, I believed that I could do it. So I knew what work I had to put in to be able to do so, and uh, it just happened to work out. It's kind of still surreal for me. Special teams is one of those areas where you lose the stuff to criticism when, when things go wrong, but when things are going okay, people don't talk about it as much. Do you get that sense as well? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because, say, it's like the couple extra points that I messed up on. Um, Nobody was happy. I got chewed out a lot. Uh, <laughs> from, from so it's like friends and fans. A little bit of everybody. Yeah, because that shouldn't happen. But um, so it's kind of like you get complimented a lot, or a lot. Everybody's upset with you. So what are what are some of the positives that people have overlooked about special teams? About special teams, um, the main thing is uh, whenever we go out there on special teams. What we try and do is just give all of our effort, and uh, especially on the guys that are doing the punt return, punt, kickoff, and all that. And uh, starting out to begin with, some people were loafing and stuff like that. But um, as of right now, we know what potential we have, and uh, we're just trying to push past the uh, difficulties that we've had and improve on those. To help be number one in the country, give a little more effort. Yes, sir. <laughs> like people have also overlooked uh, perhaps the, the fact that y'all played in some real wet conditions and you know there's so, so many snaps and holes involved with special, special teams, but you haven't seen many mistakes with that. Do you agree with that? Um, I, I would agree with that, that some people are overlooking it, but we kind of take that as a confidence booster because we think we're the, the best team in the nation in the weather now. So if it rains, we're not really worried about it because we have the most experience. So uh, we just kind of look at it that way. So kind of a unique chemistry on this team that allows you guys to stay so grounded. When you look at the roster, you got a ton of guys on defense that have played before but hadn't started. You throw in guys like like Brooks and Blanks that missed last year due to injury. And then we just talked to Hunter Renfro and you, guys that were unknown walk-ons. It just seems like a really unique mix of individuals on this squad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coming into the season, uh, just like Hunter and myself, nobody knew who we were. But um, that doesn't really change how we all look at each other. Just because we just treated each other as like all brothers and we're one big family. So you could say like Shaq Lawson or Deshaun Watson, you'd say, okay, maybe they, they stick to themselves a little bit, but nobody does that. Like we all treat each other the same. So it's, it's awesome. It's a great atmosphere. You went up against uh, arguably the greatest kicker, place kicker in NCAA history in Roberto Wyo the other day. And uh, you're, you had a perfect game. Um, Chris Sweeney talked about, uh, you say, Spotted your mental toughness right there in camp uh, when you were able to go out and perform so well, even though nobody knew you, and um, you know you're just trying to compete. Um, you obviously didn't show up, but did you feel butterflies? Were you, were you really nervous going into that situation? Honestly, in camp? In, in camp, I wasn't really nervous just because I didn't have anything to lose, and uh, so I, I just got on the team. Nobody knew who I was anyway, so if I if I mess up, it's not really a big deal. So I just had to go out and do what I knew how to do. But uh, going into the Florida State game, I honestly was a little bit nervous. Uh, I went up to Aguayo before the game, talked to him for a little bit, and uh, he's a real nice guy. And uh, I didn't really think about, OK, this is me against him. I, I kind of started to think that whenever we were both kicking a lot of field goals. But uh, <laughs> I just had to go to the side and uh, take a couple deep breaths and calm myself down. So it wasn't too bad. Did you introduce yourself as the grocery store kicker or Greg <laughs> people? Or, or? Um, I, I went up to him. I was like, hey, what's up, man? I'm Greg. Uh, just want to wish you good luck. 
for the uh, for the game, and we talked for a couple of minutes. So no. Did he know who you were? Uh, surprisingly, yes. That was a good feeling. <laughs> when when you've been watching him, either as a fan before or just watch, I, I'm sure you've watched him on video just to see what makes him so good. I mean, what were your thoughts about this guy? I mean, he's pretty amazing. Guy. Yes, yes, sir. Um, I would definitely say last year, whenever I would be watching some of the games and uh, he'd go into kick, uh, I would watch. I was, I was like, okay, how does he get the ball so high so quickly? And uh, I would just watch small things like that. And uh, I noticed a couple things, and it's actually helped improve my game a little bit. Yes, sir. And yet he's human too? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Georgia Tech will test. <laughs> Indeed. You were good right out of the gate, but do you feel like maybe you've gotten more focused and more confident since Ammon has, has come back and, and, and rejoined the roster? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I definitely believe that I've become more confident just because having him out there kicking every single day, um, it's a great competition. And uh, a lot of times whenever you're on a team and you want each other to do the best and like exceed their potential, per se, um, competition is what it takes. So every single day, it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I did not know that coming at all. Uh, Seth didn't say a word. <laughs> no, sir. Do you think with all this going on special teams this year across the country, some weird plays, some weird blocks, stuff, is that kind of put under a microscope a little bit more than in past years? Um, I would say yes, just because the impact they've had on the games is a little bit greater. But um, other than that, not really. I'm trying to ask Hunter the same thing, being a walk-on guy. But do you have you taken any time at all, or just kind of take this all in and go, oh my God, I'm this huge contributor <laughs> to the number one team in the country, a chance for the playoffs. It's, it's just been an absolute dream season for you individually as well as the team. Um, I've tried to do that. Like a lot of times, whenever I first come down the hill, I say, okay, I'm playing at Clemson. This is my dream. I'm actually living it. And uh, a lot of times I just take a circle, look around, and uh, everybody's, like all of the 83,000 were in the stadium to watch us play. So like I could say that and I could think about it, but it, it just doesn't feel real to me yet. I don't know when it will, but. <laughs> if Bill uh, Gore were to get blocked, and you be the first guy trying to hit the guy, now you always say you want to hit somebody. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You got to hit on pickup for once early in the season. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was it's, it's a funny thing. I, I got credited for the tackle, but uh, he was going down the sideline. It was another thing in high school. Like first kickoff in high school, I was like, OK, I'm going to lay this dude out. It was not good. And uh, this was one of the first few games here. And I had a kickoff. He was going down the sideline. It was probably the same situation. I was like, OK, I'm going to lay this guy out. It didn't happen. But uh, he kind of he kind of embarrassed me a little bit. But I got him out of bounds. So that's what matters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Greg. Okay, thanks, Greg. thanks a lot.